Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. This is a two-part series. So this is the part where we learn how to draw an Animal Crossing girl character. And this is my character. This is my personal character. Now I know everybody's characters are different within the game, but every single buildup of characters are relatively the same. Now the second part will be how to draw a boy character. Once again, this is built up off of my husband's character. He doesn't play, but I created him anyways. But it's just to teach you how to build up an actual character and you can add and subtract what you would like from the drawing. So we're gonna start off with drawing the girl and then I will post another tutorial on how to draw the boy character. Now, I do a lot of commissions that are pertaining to Animal Crossing. I've been drawing people's characters with their favorite villagers for a really long time now. You can see how cute they are. Thing is, with my Animal Crossing characters are a little bit Disney-fied. I like to Disney-fy a lot of my characters. This was my most recent one, very cute. And then I've got this one too. Judy's such a cute one. And then of course, I, I do draw a lot of the actual characters all the time. It's like one of my favorite things is to draw as many characters as I can. This would be for boys and girls. It's the basic buildup of a body. All right, so their heads, we're just gonna lay this out. We'll start with a really big circle. Start with a big circle. And then what you're going to do is you're gonna kind of like bring out this side a little bit and then bring out this side a little bit. So they have like cute little chubby cheeks. See how you bring it out just a little bit? Then regardless of what your eyes are, you're always going to have an eye guideline. So we're gonna do like a straight on view. So we'll go ahead, go right down the middle and we'll divide up where that nose is gonna go. So we have our eye guideline and our nose guideline. Then what we're going to do is they barely have any little neck. So if I create the top of my body and the top of your body is gonna look like uh, that big old bridge, like a rainbow kind of. For their bottom part, you're gonna go ahead and bring down this side and bring down this side. So you're gonna round off the bottom of their, like this is where their legs are. This is the bottom of the shirt, wherever your, whatever kind of outfit you're drawing. Then you're gonna bring down this part and then bring down this part. So their legs are a little bit spaced. Now for the arms, let's start with the arms up here. You're just gonna bring out one little shoulder here, bring out another little shoulder here, circle off and then circle off. See a little shoulder, a little bit of a shoulder here. So having them just a little bit relaxed, you're gonna drop down this upper arm. So you have the shoulder, this goes out just a little bit and then you're gonna bring out that lower arm. So disregard it going out too much this way. So you have this part, the shoulder where it's rounded off, same over here, they should be the exact same. Let's do the fun little greeting like they're kind of saying hi, but we're not gonna have their eyes closed. So we're gonna bring out this upper arm right here. Bring it out just a little bit. It's not too thick or too wide. I made it too wide starting to sketch it out here. So you're just gonna bring it out. And then this part, you're gonna go with that upper arm. Animal Crossing hands are super easy. They're round. Ah, oh, love the fact that they're round. They're so easy to draw. When I draw my Animal Crossing characters, I give them four fingers. But you have that round hand, it's so nice. And then you've got the wrist, elbow, upper arm. Now when it comes to legs, all the legs are the same. So you're just gonna, you've got the thighs here. You're just gonna go down just a little bit, round off down here and round off down here. The reason why we're rounding off is because our little characters do have little kneecaps. So 
from the kneecaps, you're gonna bring down this calf and this calf. See how I go into there and they should smooth out like this. And then we get to the feet. They're fairly simple, but since we have a lot of different shoe options, we've got a little bit of detail into the feet. So we're gonna bring out, so you see how I make like the stubs of the ankles? Bring out the stubs of the ankles. You're gonna go down just a little bit from there, make one little circle. Same over here, it's like a circle oval kind of shape, just a little bit of difference from those stubs. And you're just gonna create like an hourglass, go inside here, inside here, inside here, and inside here. Then we have the basic buildup of our feet. Overall, looking at this, this is the basic buildup of an Animal Crossing character for a boy and a girl. So everybody is different with their Animal Crossing character buildups, but I'm going to teach you how to draw like my basic buildup so that way you understand a little bit. So my eyes are kind of like a general kind of looking eyes. What you're going to do is you're just gonna make, remember how we made the top of the body? We're gonna just start with that bridge. Start one bridge here and one bridge here. Now your eyes should be huge because <laughs> they're taking up the most part of your face on your characters. Now underneath, you're just gonna kind of lightly go underneath that eye guideline and close off, but these are like the open bottomed eyes. So you're not going to actually give definitive lines underneath these eyes. They're kind of open. All right, then you're gonna drop down just a little bit, not too far, and give that circle nose. I have the circle nose, so it's different for everyone. All right, so starting in the middle, I like to draw like a little, cir like a little circle here and a little circle here and connect the dots. It's very simple, you're just gonna go and connect. And you can, it depends on which kind of smile you have. I have a more up one so I might just adjust that just a little bit and you want it fairly close to your mouth I mean not your mouth your nose you want it close to your nose right and I can actually go ahead and get rid of this guideline here and this guideline here so the face should be looking like it almost looks like a pear for a good comparison so it should be going outwards at the bottoms just a little bit. I'm gonna still keep my eye guideline, nose guideline for right now. Now for the eyes, it's a thick eyelash on top, which kind of represents me the most because sometimes I don't like to wear a lot of makeup. And you're just gonna go up right here. And then up right here at the corners. So you want those kind of at the corners, make sure they're nice and even. Next, is, eyes are always in different positions. My general eyes are up in the corners. So you wanna make those pupils large. You see, give some space from the bottom. Another large area. And you wanna make sure these are as even as they can go. Now what's nice about Animal Crossing eyes is they don't really have, you know, you don't have your actual shine of the eyes. You just have very small pupils, very small pupil. And the bottom of the eye, bottom of the eye. And then you, your irises, your colors are pretty big on your face. So you can see basic eyebrows. You can decide if you want eyebrows in the game with the face paint, uh, you know, the fun addition. I don't want eyebrows because I always have this hairstyle. So it kind of covers my forehead anyways. Let's talk about the forehead. <laughs> so your forehead's gonna go, you're just gonna bring a little bit of distance here a little bit of distance here but where this eye guideline is not the eye guideline the nose guideline is we're gonna go ahead 
and cross over just a little bit in front, go right above the eye, make one bang here, and then another bang here. So it looks kind of like clouds or a wave. So we have this side of our forehead that's showing just a little bit more. That's why I brought this side up and this side up just a little bit. Have this here and here. Another thing that a lot of people choose to have are blush cheeks. So this is mostly just color, but if you wanna go ahead and mark it off, little itty bitty sideways ovals, kind of the same width as your nose and they're super soft. Not soft in touch, it's soft in color. I can't touch my character. The next thing is that this part, I'm gonna connect on each side because this is like the bangs area. So this is like one section of hair here. So if I go up, bring up this side, and it just kind of goes off to the side there. And then what I do is I go in the middle on top of this section that I just made for my bangs and bring down this side, and then bring down this side. And you're gonna bring down here, and then bring down here. You don't have to be, I, when I draw my Animal Crossing characters or the Animal Crossing character commissions, I try not to be like as solid with the design as there is. I like to improvise a little bit, so maybe I will bring down like the bangs. Bring down the hairline just a little bit. And then I go outwards. And I go outwards. So with this hairstyle that I see a lot of people have, so with this hairstyle, you're gonna start with each, like there's a front strand and then there's a back strand. So starting with this one, you see I went out and I go in, bring out this curve again and then go back in, into my face just a little bit. So what you do is you go in, and then go in here, bring that in, and then from this side, you're gonna go ahead and bring out this side of this curl, go in again, kinda go in, and back into the hair. Now back here, You've got like all this other hair that's just kind of hanging out in the back. So we're just going to like leave it, close it off behind your head. Same for this one over here. So we go down a little bit in front of the face. This is the thing is that it should come down in front of your face just a little bit. So you see if I get rid of these lines, it comes down across my face. Go in. Make this curl here, cause our, our little hand is in front of our face. <laughs> and then you're gonna bring out this side. Going up from this side. Bring out that piece of hair and go in. All right. I'm gonna kinda straighten up the top of my head just a little bit. So I'm kind of like adding a little bit more loose lines. Not making anything too definitive or just like too harsh of a line. If I get rid of the top of my forehead, that, that. And then I'd like to like go make a couple lines here and a couple of lines here. And then I like to add lines going into my hairstyle, just bringing them to life a little bit more. And we've got all this hair back here. So I'm just gonna add a couple of lines back there too. 
I love my bows. I have collected all the bows for my character. I love wearing them. So that's why I left more of a gap in the middle of my hair. So you're gonna draw, if you wear bows, I'm just gonna draw a bow here. So I start with like an oval, go up and bring this down, go up and then bring this down. Bring down this part and then bring down this part this part and then this part. So you see it's just a simple bow. And I'm gonna crease here, crease here. And this one should be very symmetrical too and I'm trying. Thing is their heads are pretty round. I'm gonna bring up my head just a little bit more closer. I'm gonna keep that same line, just gonna bring it up just a little bit more. It's totally up to you on how you, if you think it's obnoxious. When I'm drawing the commissions, I really sometimes think it's pretty obnoxious. <laughs> so I bring it up just a little bit and then I have just like a little bit of my neck is showing with my pom-pom sweater on. And I'm gonna go around the side. I actually think my mouth is too far away. That's better my mouth as close to my nose as I can make it without being way too close. Now if it's way too close you can definitely tell. But the thing is about Animal Crossing people is that you know nothing can be too close and nothing can be too far away. It's okay so I've got this fluffy kind of pom-pom sweater on because it's winter and I really like it and I wish I had it in real life. And then I'm gonna bring I'm just gonna make it really thick about there. Belly is more protruding in front of my arms. So if I go to here and I make a boxed off area above my wrist or above my hand, make some cross spots here and then I'll go ahead and lightly get rid of my guidelines of my arm. When you're drawing your characters, the bellies or your body is always in front of your arms. So you can see I've got my arm right here. Thick, thick, fluffy pom-pom sweater. Same over here. I'm gonna go bring this out. And it's gonna crease. So this part is going to be a little bit thicker in front of here. Same for here. Gonna make this a little bit thicker. And then we're gonna make that, I'm gonna just go make that box for the end of my sweater to make those kind of like the cut off of my sleeve and then my hands gonna be in front of my face get rid of my arm guidelines my sweater kind of poofs out just a little bit so it poofs out here and it poofs out here bring this down and then bring this down and then it gives off the cut off of my sweater. I'm gonna go ahead and make those little ridges for my sweater. Thing about my fun design is that it looks like a bunch of diamonds. So if I go through, make a bunch of diamonds. Same for on my sleeves. And then I'm gonna go and put a pom-pom in each little area. For my skirt, so you see how I drew the shorts? I'm just gonna bring out each side. So I'm bring out this side here and bring out this side here. This would be the same for dresses. It depends on your look. I have a pedal skirt on, so it has really deep like pleats. In. And I can't see the top of my pedal skirt. That's okay. And I can go and get rid of these guidelines inside. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make this look more like a pedal skirt. So each little petal, define those a little bit more. 
definitely one to keep the kneecaps. It's like really funny how defined our kneecaps are. I saw a meme that said Tom Nook can go through and like whack our kneecaps for not paying our debts. <laughs> Here's the kneecaps. Awesome new addition to the new design of the Animal Crossing game. For the feet, I kept it as simple as possible. We're just gonna draw like regular aqua pumps. I wear these like little flat ballet swipper pumps all the time. So I'm going to just round off the bottom of my shoe here, round this off. And you're just gonna make a bridge across from one side to one side. Same over here, cross from one side to one side. Then you're just gonna lightly make a heel back here, lightly make a heel back here. All right, and then you're just gonna make the sole of the shoe here and the sole of the shoe here. So we can get rid of this little section here and this little section here. Now the thing, I'm gonna draw a little line to kind of accent where that ankle is. There's my shoes. Now I've got cute little flower tights on, so I'm gonna go through, put my little flower tights. This is like a winter and spring outfit. I'm gonna go ahead, color in my character. I'm gonna use my Ohuhu markers, and I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of life to her. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this fun tutorial series. So if you haven't seen, there are two different parts. I've got a girl character here that I teach you how to draw, and I've got the boy character that I teach you how to draw. And if you're at all interested in any of the commissions that I sell, I draw uh, Animal Crossing characters. Obviously, try to draw yourself first, but if you would like to commission me for, um, since I draw like all the Animal Crossing people, with their favorite villagers and stuff, then you can go ahead and check that out on my Etsy. And if you guys are at all interested, if this would be like a successful kind of like fun tutorial series you guys would like to learn more about, like if you would like me to draw different characters, like maybe um, different races, different eyes, different hairstyles, I would totally be up for that if you guys wanna leave in the comments down below. Or if you wanna learn any particular fun Animal Crossing characters, like Celeste, KK, or um, Isabel, Tom Nook, any of the, the little Nook twins, or uh, Daisy, I'm totally up for that as well. I'm all about Animal Crossing right now. But yes, guys, I hope you will have a most wonderful day, and I will see you all later. Thank you for watching, bye!